Hi beautiful angels, this is Mystic C from Magic Wins Tarot and this is your new reading. What uh, good news is coming for you? Yes friends, many of you requested this reading. Here it is now. Make sure you subscribe Magic Wins Tarot. Subscribe, like, share, join us on Instagram. Also friends, <clears throat> this is a general reading. It may resonate or it may not. Also this is timeless. You can watch it anytime. And friends, make sure to check out your August Pick a Card Charms reading. It's already done. Links are in the timestamps. And uh, also check out the horoscope readings in Hindi, Urdu. Also, they have been done. Links are in the timestamp. They are on my other channel, Magic Wins Tarot Hindi, Urdu. And uh, the English versions of the readings are also being almost done. One is left, I feel, fire sign. It will be very quickly posted. So, yes. So, uh, yes. Let's see friends, so what's happening, uh, new moon is happening friends in uh, Leo, so happy birthday Leos, uh, new moon in Leo is coming, it's uh, I think today and, uh, and uh, there is also uh, Jupiter retrograde moving into Aries, so this is going to be a really interesting time with sun in Leo, moon in Leo and Jupiter being retrograde. Uh, let us see uh, what good news this is going to bring for you or what new messages will happen. Let's see. So what will be the theme for you? In the, what will be the theme of this new moon? Oh, wow, the emperor and the star. So I do feel, friends, it's about taking charge of your life, going after your dreams and feeling capable, feeling confident, uh, getting bolder, getting, you know, really committed to your goals. The star, your wish is coming true. I feel your creativity will be on the rise. Uh, you will definitely uh, be looking uh, to work harder on your goals, on your dreams, on your wishes. Uh, for some of you, fame is also coming. I see fame, promotions coming in. Oh my God, Ace of Cups, love is coming in for you, friends. Look at that. Definitely, you could be falling in love with yourself again or with somebody else. You're falling in love. Great, great energy, friends. The star is the divine feminine energy. This is the divine masculine energy. Twin flame unions or reunions are also manifesting or happening right now for you. So well done, friends. Well, well done. Um, I feel this is also about... You falling in love with your work, with your body, with your mind, with your soul or somebody else falling in love with you and you falling in love with them also. So yeah, what good news is coming for our viewers? Four of Wands, marriage. Marriage, commitment, stability is coming for you friends. I do feel for some of you, uh, this also means a new house. Some of you will move into a new house, buy a new property or uh, some commitment is coming your way. Uh, I also feel uh, marriage proposals, if you are single, marriage proposals are coming. Oh my God, the devil. Uh, one good news that's going to happen is, friends, uh, you're going to really feel very committed to your dreams and goals. You know, like if you are working in a career, you will feel very much like you want to go after it. You want to take charge. You want to be very, very bold. You will also feel like you want to take certain risk because Jupiter in retrograde in Aries means like a sense of <clears throat> Jupiter is uh, happiness and retrograde is you feeling a little restless. And in Aries means you can make some rash decisions about your work and career because the devil is here. So be careful, <clears throat> you will feel over enthusiastic, over in love, your emotions will be little too charged, little too intense, you may also want to overeat friends at this point of time, overeat, overindulge, over party, let's do this, let's go out because there is this peace that's coming in, there is this slowness that's coming in, there is this silence which may really irritate you friends, uh, I do feel... <clears throat> This new moon will be a good time to even sit and relax for you, friends, because you may be hyperactive. Really, trust me, because the emperor energy is like you have a lot of energy and you want to use it. And devil is like, yes, I will use my energy no matter what. But are you listening to your intuition? 
Are you listening to your heart? It might be telling you it's time to quit smoking. It's time to quit doing too much. It's not necessary. Relax on the food. Relax on the pastries. Relax on the chocolates. Relax on the junk. Let's just calm down a little bit. Yes, the five of wands. I do feel, <laughs> I do feel, friends, in your, uh, you know, there could be certain opposition between you and uh, your heart and mind. Uh, one part of you will be like, I want this thing. The other part of you is like, no, I don't want this thing. Uh, this energy may also reflect in your relationships. Like there could be a lot of uh, intensity in your relationships. You may attract opposite people. You may also feel very drawn to someone which you feel is like not right for you. But you will definitely feel very much attracted to that person. <clears throat> The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, friends, I feel some of you are definitely, uh, you may face certain issues also with family. Like, you know, uh, you want to move out, you want to move ahead or travel abroad or go abroad and your family is like, nope, nope, nope. So there could be issues about that. But I feel overall, it's a time of harmony and love for you. So you will, uh, minor issues, you will overcome them easily. Uh, family inheritances, family property, houses, uh, money, all those things will be very important to you. The sun, yes, friends, uh, I feel some of you may actually feel like super confident, super bold. Uh, also, you may start like, you may also feel like, you know, joining some classes, going for some morning yoga sessions. Uh, your confidence levels will really shoot up, friends, which is wonderful. I also feel... <coughs> You should not doubt yourself, friends, in this time. If you are listening to your intuition, it will really guide you. So you don't worry like you will do something wrong as long as you listen to your intuition, right? In love, I do feel there are marriage proposals coming for you. I do feel there are also people involved which are very lusty. You could be dealing with a third party also this uh, week, you know. But I feel like the opposites attract you. That's the energy. Uh, in your love life, tensions are easing and love is increasing. Three of Swords, someone who from the past could be coming back into your life, calling you, messaging you and saying all the right things for you. I feel this will make you very happy. Yeah, they are definitely going to communicate within the next eight hours, in next eight days. So watch out for that. Uh, this person is going from the past, going to communicate, message you. This could also be a new person trying to come into your life and message you from social media. Ace of Swords, yeah, an online connection, a long distance connection. Uh, I do feel you and this person were not talking in the past, but now they want to break the ice and like, uh, see, I'm here and let's do it. Let's talk. The Tower, oh my God, what is this about? What is this Tower about? Let us shuffle. Oh my God, the Knight of Cups, someone really wants to uh, tell you, friends, they love you, they like you. I feel someone is majorly crushing over you or you could be crushing over somebody. Some good news about love is coming. And I feel someone desperately wants to tell you they like you, can't live without you. But they, they do have certain problems there. Like they could be underconfident, they could be nervous, they could be having addictions. Maybe they are in a third party or maybe they can't really marry you right now. So there are problems. But this person is like, I want to talk to you. And I feel somebody will really surprise you in the coming days with a proposal. I also feel some new job or promotion opportunities are coming for you. Stay on the lookout. <clears throat> if you are a student, some surprise exams could be coming your way. Test, but you will do very well. Uh, especially objective questions and all, you will do very well. Two of Swords, yeah, confusion. You will face certain decisions in the coming days, friends. Uh, decisions about whether to talk to that person, whether to choose some new job or profession. The chariot, yes, you are definitely moving forward in life. <clears throat> Travel will be very important in the coming days for you. I also feel... Uh, this person, somebody might travel towards you, guest might come in, at your house. King of Cups, yes, I do feel someone wants to express their love, care and happiness. Um, this person really wants to shower you with love and affection. And I also feel for some of you, a father figure may visit you. So let's see what else this is what good news is coming. Alexia, yeah, some sort of a relief is coming for you, friends, with this new moon. Some sort of a miracle is also coming for you. Good news, victories, miracles. 
if you were wishing for something that might come true if you were wishing for a past lover to message you they will if you are wishing for uh, your parents to help and support you or be extra kind to you or extra loving yes that will happen and the lion yes you're going to feel your power and passion friends you'll be very powerful the book yeah some sort of information or a new uh, knowledge might also come your way like you will discover something new which will change your life also books can mean exams some exams you will clear or some exams are coming so get ready back and forth yeah i do feel friends this energy still exist in this new moon where you are like um too much or too less should i do this should i not do this listen to your intuition that's where uh, you have the answer also someone is feeling very back and forth like once they are like i want to call you and then they are like oops should i shall i or should i not optimism stay optimistic friends this new moon is really really lucky for you try to stay positive it's also very powerful because um this is a very powerful time to start something new if you are or plan something new write your new goals and dreams be positive about your future deception yeah i do feel friends uh, you you will become like you know if there are third parties gossip or competition around you you your intuition will guide you and protect you so you don't have to worry about it people are talking about you because they see you are extremely gifted you have something they don't and that's why they are talking about you but you listen to your intuition don't let others affect you great achievement you are going to achieve something oh my god deceit so again friends there is two cards of deception and deceit be careful friends be careful don't try to cheat yourself also like you know oh i can eat my calories and then burn them off and like never go to the gym don't do that also don't try to get too tempted to invest money or gamble or do these kind of things because there is a chance of deceit number 25 uh fifth chakra angel michael yes some sort of a victory is coming for you friends some sort of a uh if somebody was not right for you uh maybe friends or gossip or colleagues you will be able to overcome and maintain distance and boundaries like you will be able to overcome those issues health issues also anxiety money issues i feel some of you have money issues like money is not coming in angel of strength you are very strong friends you have to believe in yourself that you are strong and you have all the you want to really feel your power friends yes oh the door to romance or love is coming for you friends yes someone from from your past is going to come back and number 333 is important i feel this person might message you in the next 8 hours or 8 uh, days or the next 3 hours and the next 3 days for some of you it is 3 uh, for some of you it is 8 because this person is like back and forth back and forth but uh, personally you are doing very well friends uh, in the in this new moon things you really your health is improving uh, your finances are improving your outlook you will be very optimistic you will feel also like yes i can achieve this let us see advice anything you keep you need to keep in mind stay focused don't give up keep keep moving forward you will achieve your dreams and look silence i told you silence is important this new moon for you i think some of you might force to just eliminate silence like i don't want to be quiet i want to push through no 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 don't be too productive no in silence peace prevails Sol <clears throat> solitude try to stay meditate try to stay and think you know things answers will show up full moon the new moon advice friends for our viewers okay you are very close to achieving your goal so don't give up now you are very very close yes work through your fears yeah you have certain fears you have certain anxieties uh, but you will overcome them there is new moon in scorpio prosperity lies ahead you're going to be super successful friends so nothing to worry about nothing uh, yeah and don't let your past hold you back so wow interesting 
So friends, that's it for now uh, from Magic Men's Tarot. And uh, to buy a personal reading, visit our website and uh, join us on Instagram. This is Mystic C. Singh. Bye-bye.